is good. We cannot break it from this side. Really now. You guys gonna do anything to this door so we can actually get out? We got a key? No? Okay, well that would have been super convenient. Did Code talk about Stardew Valley 1.6? I would love I put Stardew Valley 1.6 in the same boat as I do Horizon Forbidden West on the PC, where it's like, I would love to play that game right now, but I literally have like five other games going on. So Stardew Valley 1.6 and Horizon Forbidden West, uh, we have on the list. The list. But I do want to play both of those eventually. Yes. Why does Code just look like you shot a music video with the Backstreet Boys? Well, that's because... I'm back. All right. A way out. Let us make haste. Did you just blow up the rock that I did earlier? Oh, my heart. Whoops. There can <clears throat> be no gladder tidings in all the world. <laughs> Words. <laughs> Shall ne'er suffice to express my gratitude, friend. None of this would have been possible if you had not gifted me this bow. You are my sister's savior. I am for heir in your debt. Oh, uh, Alpha Two Omega, uh, with the ten-dollar tip to the mod team. Co, can you potentially explain what Arisen and Pawn are? I keep hearing them mentioned, but I have uh, haven't seen the part they're explained. So the short of it is, and this is a very TLDR, but the short of it is, in the Dragon's Dogma world, there's a giant dragon that chooses a person to essentially be the one that fights him. And he does that by taking their heart and giving them powers when he does it. So an Arisen is somebody whose heart has been taken by the dragon. They have died and then arose back to life. They are Arisen as they no longer have a heart. Now, pawns are this mysterious, weird... If you can imagine like a human without a soul... That's a pawn. And pawns don't know where they came from. They don't know where they came from. We don't know where they came from. They come from like this alternate alternate dimension. And the Arisen uses pawns to fight the dragon. So in the first game, your character at the very beginning of the game loses his heart to the dragon, becomes an Arisen. And one of the first times he gets near one of these stones, they're called rift stones because they rift to the pawn world, whatever that means. Uh, a pawn pops out and is like, yo, you're the Arisen. We're here to serve you. We're cool. We don't need, we don't, we don't care where we came from. We don't care what you tell us to do. We have no motivations at all. And we're, a, a, a good way to think of the pawns is they're kind of like a combination of a human and just a straight up tool. Like they're basically like humanoid tools meant for the Arisen. However, slightly spoilery, very slightly spoilery, but it is important to know this. In the first game, the longer that pawns hung out with their Arisen, the more like them they would become. In fact, one of the oldest Arisen you find in Dragon's Dogma 1, his pawn looks exactly like him. And on top of that, in the expansion of DD1, they play with this, uh, this ability for pawns over time to like, what's the best way to say it? Grow a soul? So it's kind of like, at the end of DD1, we find out that there was this pawn that became so attached to its arisen, and the arisen became so attached to the pawn that there was like this, this humanity that developed. Thank you, Volper. Yeah. So they didn't really become human. They didn't really become human. But they there was like, it was kind of like in Lies of P, where the main character was kind of like flirting between machine and humanity. That's kind of like what happened at the end of DD1. There was like this pawn that was flirting between humanity and pawn. And they never really like established what happened. It was just kind of like, here's the events that unfolded. So anyway, that was a lot longer than I intended. But there you go. That's what Arisen and Pawns are. Now... Interestingly enough, and this is the last thing I'm going to say, at the beginning of this game, they start turning the whole thing on its head. Because 
at the very beginning of this game, you're in like a mine and the mine is full of pawns doing like, like manual labor. And from everything we understand, that is not what pawns are used for. That is like, and there's also like a fake Arisen controlling them. So there's like all sorts of weird stuff happening in this game that we haven't seen before in this world. So we don't know how it works. We're not, we don't really know the rules that they're playing by. So we're figuring all that out. This is a short version. Yes, there was a longer version. Um, all right, listen. Anyway, that's it. Why does the dragon want people to fight him? So the the dragon represents a, it gets a it, this is where it gets a little weird the dragon is technically an arisen and there's like this cycle that happens where like the 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 arisen gets killed or is killed and then like a new arisen's picked and like there's this cycle that happens and 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 the short of it is is we don't know what started the cycle but we know the cycle is going so um, are these spoilers? Yeah, well, I mean, we're talking about DD1. So, but the, no, here's the thing. The TLDR is we don't know. Again, we know the rules and we know what's happening. And we've talked to people who are bound in the cycle, but we don't know who made the cycle. We don't know why the cycle exists. We don't know. Like, there's a huge amount of unanswered questions in the game. We did not start the fire. It was always burning. Yes, exactly. Okay. Anyway, that's it. Findlenar. <clears throat> Father. Karim Ilmenar Kael. Oh yeah, this might not even be the same cycle as the first game. This might be a completely different world with different rules. We don't know. We don't know. How could any man find fault with the weapon that saved his daughter's life? What do you call a magical owl? Hoot Dini. Come on, man. Sorry to hear that chat. Um, okay. Then when more I want on, after here, courier. Morfa erando, Amanda kill. Kiriando anmindor hiroth, Arta hir kurir, Morfa erando, Amanda kill. Vanalin the hiroth sorom. They never really came up with a whole ass language for this, didn't they? Nun this Amanda kill, Angadur, Femor. Huh. Kasinke telpe nun finaler. Lera ne fir heranon, anne arta her fir nis. Din lenar, nun dene we fir nostu. My gratitude to you knows no bounds, friend. T'was your kindness that alts my plight as, as much as this bow. Not only are you my sister's saviour, but mine as well. By the by, if you are as passionate about mastery of the bow as I am, Perhaps you might speak with my father. His experience... Yo, is this the Mystic Archer quest? Wait. I don't know about that one. Somebody named Dark Joke Friday just tipped us ten dollars with a joke, and it's uh, it's pretty dark. Um, I don't know about that one. <laughs> it's a little spicy. Um, okay, lived up to the name. I'll post it in chat, but I'm not saying that on stream. Mm. <laughs> this is with his pronunciation and everything. There we go. Okay. Boop. Okay. Elorato ala nun mor arta her. Firnis an erumar isil rod et peller. 
I know. And now you see why I didn't read it out. Actually, that joke was pretty lit. Shut up. <laughs> Portal Crystal! Yo! There it is! Okay. Awesome. Oh, dude. Twould see my intuition was right on the mark. Okay. Well, that's freaking awesome. That joke was straight fire. Shut up. All right. So we are going to. Yeah, that quest was worth like two dollars. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, let's go over to here, and I'm gonna drop the portal crystal right here. Let's drop it right there. Because we're kind of on this northwest side of the map pretty frequently, so we might as well pop something down, right? A little bit. What's up, Skadoosh? How you doing today, buddy? Restoration and reinforcement are the purview of a mage. You'll be safe in my care, Arisen. Wow, defeat a Cyclops for a thousand gold or ten thousand gold? Damn, dude. Get him. Let's go this way. Wolves, if I've ever seen them. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. What? What did you just say? That was a little funny. Wolves, if I've ever seen them. Yes, but do they hunt in packs? I need more information, stat. Missed opportunity to not play the bonfire sound for the joke. Oh, brother. I haven't had that, that sound bite in years. That was one of the first sound bites that got me in trouble for uh, DMCA. It was just long enough to flag the DMCA thing every time I played it. No single bird can defeat me, but two can. Thank you, Yoku, with the $15 tip to the mod team and that terrible joke. I appreciate it. The door is behind me to my left. Second on the left. Just take it and get out, please. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Bye. The day grows darker with our every step. We shall have to be all the more okay, vigilant. Okay, here we go. So right here. I'd say it's a pretty good spot. But once we get the portal crystals, we'll put like one in the top left, one in the top right. And then like... Was this all water? Ooh. I'll put like one up here. Looks like the road over here expands out a lot. So we'll put one like around here somewhere. And then we'll put one like down here, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I definitely want one here. Use. Now we can return to this ah. location whenever we have a fairy stone to hand. Cool. Okay. Items. Fairy stone, use. Hell yes. Hell yes. Oh, love it. Starting to build our network. <laughs> it's the first fairy stone we've used this entire playthrough right we've there. We've made it then. What's our first oh. order of business arisen? Um, one sec. Mm-mm. Okay. Hey, Ko, I can't... Can I watch the stream replays on Twitch? I missed the previous DD2 stream, so I want to watch from the beginning. Uh, Yankee, we don't keep Twitch VODs, but everything I do on Twitch goes to my YouTube. YouTube.com slash CoCarnage or Co.TV slash YouTube. Uh, either will take you there. But yes, everything is there. And it's usually on there before I'm done streaming for the day. As well. well there's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Who are you there? Your presence is requested at the tavern this evening. I know. Thank you. Okay. The person we're here to meet is nowhere to be seen. Co, Shall we come back later? Something? I'm hey, not Co. sure we're making any progress here. 
We do you know what? To remind ourselves. Shut up. Hey, Code, do you know what Batman likes in his drink? Just ice. of the particulars of our task. I like it. All right, so we're gonna save first. And then hope to heck when we take this. Wait, do I have to tell it where it's going first? How do I do this? I think I have to, I think I have to talk to the guy first, right? Oh, I have to pay first. That's right, we have to pay. If I'm lucky. Uh, I'm not taking any passengers just now, sir. Oh. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road, though carts travel only by the sun's light. Uh, Peepo Champ 1, thanks for stopping by, dude. Have a great one. Appreciate you, buddy. This ox Starting 1.6 is wild. Dude, it looks so good. Oh, my lord. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Here you go. This is most convenient. Another destination so, we were bound for is not far from here. You're finally awake. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Do you know if the Mystic Knight is in this game? We are actually working right now on, on getting the Mystic Knight. I've been told that apparently the Mystic Knight is related to a quest in Mel that happens later. But, um, I don't know, to be honest. I can tell you we've been back to Mel before and there was nothing really going on here, so... Good at this. At what? Ah, uh, here we are. Oh, the Mystic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mystic Spearhand is work. in the game, not Mystic Knight. I apologize. Yes, it's Mystic Spearhand now. Mystic Knight was a class in the original game. Mystic threw me off. Breaking things is a lot easier than. So I don't know who the guy is I'm looking for, but I'm assuming he's going to be at the what start of the area, here? right? I'm going to go ahead and just looking for work. talk to everyone. But yeah, my goal for this playthrough is Mystic Spearhand. That is that is my class. That is what I want to be. So anytime I hear a rumor of how to get it, we're probably going to try to oh, do it. The other day, I espied an elf. They ill favor living alongside the people. Per Reddit, after completing the quest Monster Culling, giving by Brant of Vernworth, return to the dilapidated village of Melv. Upon arriving, a story event will occur. After it's over, you can talk to Sigurd. Sigurd will be on the east cliff of the village. Did we do Monster Culling? Um. Uh oh. Now you have the brine. Shallow waters are safe, but I don't know if we did monster culling. Can I look at my completed quest? Oh.
I'm just before this. I'm just before where we need to be. Okay. Of course. Of course. Is the review Shall bombing on Steam justified? All I've been seeing is the MTX hate. Then follow me. If you are if you are somebody that hates microtransactions. Now we shan't lose our way. Well here here's here's the thing. Is is the steam bombing justified? The short answer is If you if Steam reviews are supposed to alert you to if you should buy the game or not, then in this case I would say yes. They're pretty justified. Because what the Steam reviews are trying to do is put a giant glowing exclamation point over the fact that this game has some pretty terrible microtransactions, that there are uh, some performance issues, stuff like that. It's this way. The only the only reason I'm even a little hesitant here is because the game itself is actually kind of awesome. I'm loving this game. I'm having a great time in it. I think it's a phenomenal game. So it sucks that there's performance issues and MTX issues and that it's mostly negative. But I can't really say that that... I can't say it's unjustified. You know what I mean? So the the, the unfortunate fact, reality is there's a lot of good thing. in this game and there's a lot of bad. Hire only women. So... Why. Well, there's a lot... Excuse me. There's a lot of good in the game and there's a lot of not so good out of the game. Yeah. So... Yeah. Fine. Kind of a mixed bag. Out of the car, all of this ox cart's bound for. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Mm. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. But yeah, for me personally, like yes, I absolutely hate the MTXs, but thankfully, pretty much all the MTXs I've seen, you know, you can get it all in game. Um, so I don't plan on buying any microtransactions. And I think I'm gonna have a fine time in the game. So, you know, it's it's that kind of situation. Yeah. Consummate Kitten says, can we drop the topic of MTX? No. And I will probably talk about it many more times too. So if that's an issue, Kitten. I mean, that's part of the stream, dude. You're here a lot. You know how this works. <laughs> hey streamer, can you stop talking about that thing everyone's asking you about? No, sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. I mean, we keep it to a minimum. And we do have the thoughts video. But, you know, I'm sure it'll come up more. It happens. It's part of the game. It happens. Okay. So, are we ready to do the next main quest? No, not yet. I think we have, like, one other quest to do. Wow! Let's report back to Margit first. And then we got to do a place to call home. And then we'll do the next main quest. I don't even know Come if the next, next main it. quest does anything. Was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. I wonder if the blue thing is when we're near a quest. Oh there. Fair. Does that be kind of cool if so? That kind of makes sense a little bit. How easy is it to get the MTX items in game? Um This might be worth a read. Shall we take a closer look? Where, where do I look at that? Uh, I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the locals. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Indeed. Tell is, there's um, been a shift in the chain of command. They didn't take him down, did they? It's on news. Look as long as you please. You have it all hidden? Oh, why is it doing the... Okay. That's that's silly. It'll show the base game, but not like all the other stuff. Okay. What is there? Is there skimpy DLC I missed or something? Because I'm a lot more interested now, if so. Oh yeah, I can't even see Dragon's Dogma too. 
I just turned these off. Did not save? It must have not saved. There's mature content filtering. Ignored products? I'm not going to look at that list. That's dangerous. Okay, now is it working? If this doesn't work, I don't care. And I'm, you'll, I've, I've heard that most of the stuff you can get. No, it's not working. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Steam is horrible. Um, but anyway, from what I've heard, mo almost all the stuff you can get in the DLC. And if someone has a list I can look at or something, um, then I can tell you. But from what I understand, all the stuff you can buy earlier, but it's stuff that you're going to get on the course of the game if you're doing a big run. So, yeah. The only thing I heard you can't fight in the game is the lightweight camping gear from the deluxe edition. Okay. Okay. Oh, the boomer? I know, right? I'm, I'm such a boomer. Well, it's Steam is also garbage, to put it bluntly. So, yeah, a lot of people really like Steam, but frankly, it hasn't been developing properly and has bugs that it's had for a decade because this Gavin way, knows master. he doesn't have to spend money actually making it better. So, you know, we're just kind of in this fun... Sir Arisen, bug limbo. I cannot thank you <clears> enough <throat> for what you've done for us. Steam is great. Steam is great, but it could be 10 times better if they actually put resources into it. The more you use the back end, like community features and stuff, there's stuff in Steam that has been bugged for 15 years in the back end. I mean, it's 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 working on ancient foundations. So, all right, here we go. Um, music and sound collection, harpy loot items, thoughtful gifts, a makeshift jail key. This is uh, the portal crystal, but I mean, you get portal crystals. Wake stones, and then rift crystals. The only thing I think that I would use out of this list at all is the portal crystal. There appears to be one of them. It apparently comes with the deluxe edition. That's the that's the only one that I think is a little. Uh, but I mean, even then, it's just con it's just convenience, and you you get like five, what five other portal crystals in the game. So, yeah, I don't know. I would I wouldn't. The DLC and the microtransactions, the content is not a big deal. The fact that they're selling them at all, I think is the bigger deal. <laughs> but, I mean, it, like the stuff you get is not a big deal, but the fact that they're selling it, I feel, is like the big deal. So, yeah, there you go. I, you've my humblest gratitude, sir. Yep. If not for you, I'd never have made it. But no, none of that stuff is going to impact your playthrough at all. If, if, if you're wondering to yourself, do I need to buy any of this ridiculous DLC? The answer is absolutely not. No. You're, in fact, if you want the full experience of this game, I'd recommend not buying any DLC. Which is weird to say, but that's what I would say. Looking at this list, if you want to experience Dragon's Dogma 2 in its best format, do not buy any DLC. Because you're going to get all that stuff in game. Anyway, but 99% of it, that's important. So, yeah, don't mess up your playthrough by getting that stuff. Okay. Still, I doubt this is the last we'll be hearing from Sir Ludolf. He's not like to admit defeat after only one attempt. Where will I be sent next, I wonder? All so that gentleman can bone my wife. Have you not heard, my love? Sir Ludolf has fallen deathly ill. Girl, did you poison him? He has? Aye, he was poisoned. From the tell of it, it was concealed in a gift. A bottle of wine or some such. Which is so funny, because I gave him a bottle of wine just last fortnight. But I suppose it's not so surprising. <clears throat> a dastardly man like that must have had no shortage of enemies. Mm -mm. True enough. I'm sure no few held a grudge against him for all he's done. Well, indeed. Perhaps one might call this his just desserts. <laughs> yeah, you definitely murdered him. Okay. My Steeled virtue and lustrous targe. Damn, dude. That's a one-hand sword that does like 15 less damage than my two-hand sword that's fully maxed out. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Um. Huh. Man, only for Sir Gregor to fall. 
Okay. Anyway. At least. Time to go fight her. I know, right? He lives on here. Splendid. Man, Thelma knows where. Thelma has known where every single quest I've done is. I need to go rest at the uh, the inn after this for anyone using my pond to update it. There's a ladder here. So you'll know where all these quests are too. Excellent find. 